love to have another rotation on our farm, but with cash rents where they're at and being a young producer, we we don't have the equity or the, the cash built up, I guess I'd say, to to get through a year of a loss or however, how have you guys found uh, to work with those those small grains and and not only the cash flow where where do you where do you find markets for them you know, a lot of our local elevators would just assume deal with corn and beans and that's about it <laughs> Um, but we were able to integrate the small grains on our farm. We had the same problem that you discussed with not really having a market to sell it. Um, and one option could be either food grade, if you can you know, find the company to, to work with that. We were talking about mills, and that's one particular option. Another would be South Dakota has a great certified seed program, especially with oats. Um, and you know, there's some options with wheat too. And if you can afford the input cost of buying the certified seed, the foundation seed in the first place, that's another great way to try to get into small grains and know that you have a market, you know, as long as you meet the standards um, with the test weight essentially, and you can have a weed free seed test for the most part you can find someone that will buy that seed. So just another option, but again, it costs a little more upfront because you have to buy that foundation seed to get started. We've always had wheat in our rotation, so it's been easier and just the fact that it's gonna improve the yields of your other crops, you know, makes it worth it for us. But as far as any good advice to give to a young producer that's, you know, needing income and profits year to year. I don't have any really good thoughts other than, you know, working small. For one thing, the crop insurance, it, it, you know, it's a decentive to plant small grains because a lot of people don't. If you've been plant, once you get planting them, you build up yield history, then it's all right. But if you're just starting out, you don't have a yield history. It's, it's not easy. You just, you know, be, just have to do some to try to build up yield history. But I, I have seen with the small grain on the soybean yields even two years out be like five bushel better. We all often struggle getting the plant, the wheat planted soon enough so that it's nice and growthy and tillered before freeze up. Um, we plant too much wheat into October and so we need to actually do a better job of raising shorter day soybeans probably, getting them in sooner so you can plant wheat 20th of September so you have a better start is, is another helpful hint I, I would say. And then, you know, management, intensively management as best you can so you got to be pushing for yields. Phosphorus on the wheat, can, a low phosphorus can really hammer the early growth on the wheat. 